Good day to you. This is David Richano with Bounce the Trap, Body, Mind, and Spirit. Hope you are doing well today. I had another topic in mind, but just it kind of hit me literally, physically, before I came out. I was like, ah, let me talk about something slightly different. Listen to your body and make sure you get your rest. Uh, this hit me uh, last night kind of hard. Not as bad as it's been, but I mentioned a couple videos ago that I uh, did a pretty intense workout on so today's Tuesday, so it wasn't Sunday, a little extra, because normally I take that day to do some recovery by it. And I chose to do some little extra work. And then yesterday's workout I'm doing right now, I'm working with the sandbag, was rather intense. It was called the Nasty 20. <laughs> yeah, I felt that was, let's see, clean and press, shouldering, shoulder squats, bent over rows, and squats, back squats. So five exercises, 20 at piece. <clears throat> you do 20 reps a piece if you can get the, and especially with the shouldering and the squats and the, or the shoulder squats, it was per side. But uh, definitely intense workout. Definitely felt how to break it up into several um, sets. Couldn't quite do it in one set because of the weight. But anyways, what it was is last night I felt that. I felt the combination of that intense session plus what I did over the weekend as well. It's like I am feeling tired. Physically tired last night. Mentally tired a little bit as well. And it's like... I need to make sure I try cutting down my day a little earlier to make sure I get to bed, get some full, get full night's sleep. Well, it mostly happened. I didn't quite cut my, my cutoff time as what would have been best for me. And I finished lunch a little while ago and I was doing some reading and I was sitting in my chair doing some reading and it kind of hit me a little bit. It's like, oh, and even as I come in here to get ready to do the video, I started feeling again the fatigue. It's like, oh, okay, if I can tell myself I need to make sure and get to bed a little early tonight, whether it's going to happen or not. Eh. Getting up, I can do it. Getting up, going, getting up early, five o'clock, I can do that. Getting, getting to bed earlier. The ideal time for me to get to bed would be about 9.30. It usually doesn't even come close, but I'm getting better. But hopefully you can do a little better than I do is to make sure you get your rest. Because I know for me personally, if I get really tired, there's times I've been on like four hours of sleep, I will actually get nauseous. I'll get nauseous in my stomach and I need to get sleep. At least take a nap so I can get sleep that night. But overall, the reason for the rest as well is if you like exercise, you like taking care of your body, if you do not rest, also recover, any of the benefits you get from exercise are going to go backwards. As you start getting stronger, you start getting looser, you start getting, losing inches. If you don't get your rest, you'll actually start going the opposite. You'll get weaker, you'll put the inches back on. So you, rest is critically important. And it's really good rest. And one of the best things you can do to help you out with your sleep is to go to bed, preferably at the same time, which I'm not real good on, but get up at the same time, which I am good on, seven days a week. Pretty much get up at the same time and get your body in routine. And when you do that, you don't have energy throughout the day. You sleep pretty good. And it's a big factor. A lot of people don't like to do it. Majority of people, if you have a standard week, you get up early. You go to bed usually relatively early on Sunday night. Get up early Monday morning. You do your work in school. And then Friday night, go to bed late. Get up late Saturday. Go to bed late Saturday. Get up on Sunday, which means you just threw your body completely off of the routine you got yourself in previously. And you start all over again. I got some type of engine running outside the window here. Um, but yeah, go to bed and get up at pretty much relatively the same time. So the best things you can do for you get in a sleeping pattern and help yourself out. And if you did some extra training with stress issues as top of that, you don't want to train too much because it affects your recovery. I'm hoping all this kind of makes sense here as you realize what happens. If you got a lot going on, so stress, stress basically psychological, but you got a lot going on at work, you exercise too much, they compound on top of each other. And so if you really got a lot going on psychologically, mentally, you might want to ease off in some of your workouts, but make sure you get your rest in there. So listen to your body, know when you need some sleep or some extra rest and take naps if you need to, when you can. I know it's not, it's not always an option, but pay attention. Your rest is crucial for balancing your body, mind, and spirit. All right, so that's all I got for today. Have a good one. Let me know what you do for your sleep patterns. So for me right now, I get up at 5 o'clock, which is the time I want, but bedtime is anywhere between 10 to 10.30, sometimes 11. 9.30 would be ideal for me, but let me know what your sleep routine is like and your rest routine, how it benefits you, or have you noticed sometimes that you, when you don't get your sleep, what effects do you have? All right, take care and balancing to you. Bye-bye.